All right, ladies and gentlemen, the women's championship matchup. There she is from the local cat house, Pink Passion. <laughs> Dropping glitter and sparkles and feathers everywhere. She's a dance maniac. Time to dance with the referee with the Hall of Famer. <laughs> Rich said, no way, Jose. Now, the AFWA Women's Champion, the daughter of royalty herself, Nadia Omari, the Sheik's daughter. You know, she won this championship a couple weeks ago at the Super Show, Mesco Before Christmas. And it has been only two weeks. And she is already defending this title for the first time. Like most champions wouldn't even be trying to defend it, they'd still be out celebrating. She's gonna be a workhorse just like her father. As we know, the Sheik has turned a new lead. We talked about him being the commissioner tonight. He says that he has turned a new lead, and I believe it. He's been proving it. Left and right all night and I expect this match to be no different as he comes ringside to watch his daughter Nadia Omari and this match up here is going to be pretty spectacular I feel because she is the daughter of Royals she is the one and only Women's champion of the All-Star Wrestle Alliance, Nadia Omari. And a little bit of trash talk. You know, the Sheik has changed his ways, but it still seems his daughter is not all the way on board with this yet. But he was telling me earlier, it's been taking some time to convince her that it's not always about taking shortcuts and it's not always about being evil, but it's about perseverance hard work, dedication, and determination in getting the job done in a fair, competitive way. That's the exact words she told me. As we see here, Nadia Omari will find out. Will she pull hair? Will she bite? Will she gouge the eyes? I don't know, but Pink Passion and Nadia Omari for the ASWA Women's Championship and looks like Pink Passion's got some attitude. And we don't know a lot about Pink Passion. She's been in and out of AWS, SCW. She's worked from Mega uh, Pro Wrestling. She's worked at Mega Championship Wrestling. We do know that lately she's been staying at the local pet house in Orangeburg. That's what she put in and on her contract as her residence, the local Cat House in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Formerly, she was in Cat Daddy's. What am I reading here? Yes, it says Cat Daddy's Cat House, Las Vegas, Nevada. And it also says West Virginia. Oh, I can't even say the name of this place. But it's something that's something called Pink Plowless. And that's it I can say on that one. Got me tongue tied. As Pink Passion doing a number on the women's champion Nadia Omari. Several, several clotheslines back and forth. There's a sidewalk slam. This may be it. But, you know, I was thinking Nadia Omari, being the Sheik's daughter, probably could take one heck of a beating. Referee, you better move out of the way. There's a line in the corner. One shoulder, two shoulders. Snapmare, and now she's taking. Where are we going here? Ooh, a side kidney kick. That it wasn't my kidney. Where are we going? Oh, still a little bit of her old ways. Taking it from pillar to post. There's a trip up, and I've seen this before. Weapons of ass destruction. WAD. And WAD knows who she is, and that was a tribute to Weapons of Ass Destruction. Pardon my language. Dragging him, or her, him, 
it, whatever. AWS does not discriminate. But, you know, I don't want to get the pronouns wrong because I haven't had an actual conversation. Spins out what that was one hell of a sidewalk sound. And only two unbelievable. And the Sheik's looking off unbelievable. He can't believe this. Nadia Omari showing that she is a fighting champion as they're working up. There's a knee. That dirty Pink Passion. You know, I thought Pink Passion used to be a good girl. But I've never seen her be such vicious. Ah, leg drop. Ordering the referee to come down to count. Throwing a temper tantrum. Yeah, Pink Passion is really, really showing her pink colors okay. Back elbow, vicious assault. I haven't seen Pink Passion this vicious since she beat Dixie the Spider Queen earlier this year when she took the AWS Queen's Championship, which is no longer recognized even though Dixie was seen carrying it around the self-proclaimed AWS Queen's Champion, but it is not an official AWS title, so she is only Oh, and look at that beautiful head scissors about sending him out of the ring. There's only one women's champion, and that is Nadia Omari. The other championship, Dixie hasn't defended in months. It has not been on TV. So, for all you viewers at home, she is just a self-proclaimed Queen's champion. But there's only one women's champion. Look at her, and now she's choking him. You know, getting a little bit back and forth. If she hits this, there's the big bulldog. I believe that's it. I've never seen anyone kick out of the Arabian Dream Dog. And she told me it's like taking a ride on the magic carpet. And that's it, folks. The winner and still the women's champion, Nadia Omari.